This guy essentially summarizes my feelings of watching this show all the way through. This cute little face. This cute little avocado. Ooh, that's a hot mug guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Good Place, the series that just ended, well, at least it ended on Netflix, um, but I know that it ended probably a little bit before this, but I only just finished watching it now on Netflix. This was honestly one of my favorite shows for the last little while. It's got great writing, it's got great actors, it's got some really good humor, and it also has a very intelligent core. If you haven't seen or heard anything about The Good Place, I'll try to do as best as I can of a non-spoiler review, but you're missing out. The show starts with Eleanor, played by Kristen Bell, arriving in The Good Place. She's died, and now this is the place that you go for the people who have done right in the world after you die. At first, she thinks it's pretty cool, but she realizes that maybe she doesn't belong up there because of her previous choices. And she meets some characters along the way, including Chidi, the guy who has a wealth of knowledge about him, but he can't make a decision to save his life. Tahani, a British heiress of sorts who's great at hosting parties, but has her own kind of baggage with her family and self-guilt. And then there's Jason. Jason's dumb as a brick. But he does have shining moments here and there. They come together to realize that maybe they don't belong there, but then possibly things aren't as they seem. That is the best I can do without spoiling it for you guys. This show just had such a funny premise and such an intelligent premise too. The whole show is based around the idea of human ethics and the ideas of being a good person. They're not just kind of going on the general statement of it. They're pulling from different sources all the way back to the Greek ages like Plato. They're pulling in all these different conversations, debates, topics, papers, discussions, all about the idea of what is a good person. It's also really fork and funny. The fact that they can't swear in the good place, so they replace it, the dialogue of all these different words, is really just the start of how witty this show is. Oh, I also forgot to talk about Ted Danson. Ted Danson is Michael, the architect of The Good Place. I love Ted Danson in this show. He's just perfect. I know that everyone talked about Matt Smith with Doctor Who with bow ties, but Ted's got it. Ted's got all the great bow ties in this show. I really, really love the first season. It pulls you in. The second season was also just as engaging. The third one kind of dragged a little bit, but it was building up to its fourth season, which is the end. And every season only has 13 episodes. So this is a show that you know had its idea, its premise, its core idea down packed and they knew how long it would take and i like that they didn't drag it out admittedly it's kind of odd ending on a fourth season and there are parts of season three that i think could have been smushed into four but it works still it's a great concept the humor is very very funny and the characters really develop for instance the cheaty that you meet at the beginning of the show is not the cheaty you meet at the end of the show and that's for all of them they keep their core basis throughout their show, their traits, but they learn to become better people and they also learn more about themselves as they go through the show. And that is some really good character development for a show that at first seems kind of like just a highbrow above a sitcom, but it's not. This is far, far better than any sitcom out there. It's made by Michael Sculler and Drew Goddard. Drew Goddard is the creator of the Daredevil show, and this guy's been around in the background for a lot of different projects, and I'm happy that he was a part of this, because this is honestly one of the best things he's ever made. I really enjoyed The Good Place. It does kind of have a little bit of eh in the middle of it. There is this, it's again, hard to describe without spoiling, but I feel that it, it's a bit bloated in the middle because it feels like you're repeating season two again. There is a point to it, but it just feels a little bit bloated, which is why I wouldn't give it a perfect rating, but I would definitely highly recommend you guys watch this. I'm gonna give The Good Place a six out of seven. It was really fun to watch. I watched the whole show with my wife over the years, and I would watch this again because some of the episodes are just witty as hell, especially when you find out what the bad place is. The Bad Place is hysterical. And funny enough though, there's actually a lot of cameos of different actors throughout the show. Different characters from different shows like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, SNL, and it's all good. It's all really, really good humor. None of it's lowbrow, I find. It, even the Bad Place lowbrow is still 
got a bit of witticism to it. In the end, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.